Hey everyone, today we're talking about the relationship between multiplication and division, which I like to call opposites attract. And that is because multiplication and division are friends. It's just that they are opposite operations. What does that mean? Let's take a walk back in time. Do -do 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 -do. Remember when you'd have a group of objects, here we have six donuts, and you'd be asked to split them into two equal groups. And you'd be like, hey, I can have two equal groups of three. Or you'd be asked to split them into groups of two. And you'd be like, hey, now I have three groups of two. Well, in either case, what we know is that if six divided by two equals three, we also know that three times two equals six. Pretty cool, right? Let's see if we can apply that to a problem. Here we have 54 divided by 6 equals something, and maybe we don't remember what that something is. But if we know 54 divided by 6 equals something, then we also know 6 times that something equals 54. And I'm sure you remember that multiplication fact, but just in case you don't, I will remind you it is 9. Excellent job. Let's try one more. Here we have 56 divided by 8 equals something, so we know that means 8 times that something equals 56. Hmm, which of our favorite facts is this? Oh yes, a 7. Excellent job. Let's see if we can apply this to a situation. Here we have 28 students, and they're separated into 7 groups. And we're going to have the same number of students in each group, and we're trying to find that number. So here we have a division situation, right? We're taking a total, we're separating it into equal groups, and we want to know how many are in each group. Well, if we know that 28 divided by 7 equals that number, then 7 times that number equals 28. So, again, one of your favorite multiplication facts is 4. There are 4 students in each group. So, in summary, multiplication and division are friends. They are just opposite operations.